it's time to go beyond plus ultra for Boku no Hero Academia. Back in school, I think. Yeah. Maybe, uh, man, all right. I'm just I'm trying to learn here. I don't I don't like all this scary shit going on. Yeah, this was slightly disturbing of an episode. Well, I mean, if the fucking like title card here isn't anything to go by. Yeah. Shit goes sideways pretty quick now that uh, Shigaraki's awake. Mm-hmm. And it's... I don't know where it's gonna go from here because it can only get worse, I feel. Here's what I'm curious about, right? And I, and I thought of this while watching the episode. This is him only at, like, what... 74% completion was what the what the readout was. Yeah, I think. Something like that. 71, 74, right, right in that area. What all did he get given, right? Like, what quirks does he have right now? And what did he not get out of what he was supposed to be infused with? That's what I'm super curious about. Because I have a feeling that whatever quirks he's missing is what's going to get him killed. Or, like, going to get him beaten. Oh. So like, the... I, either that or it's going to give the opening deck he needs to take him out. One of, one of those. So the fact that he doesn't have something could be his downfall? The, the fact that he's incomplete is, is the best way I'd put it. I don't know if it's going to be specifically something... Like, like a specific missing quirk or whatever. Especially because without the Doctor, how else are you going to, like, make that happen anymore? I mean, I mean, actually, he has he has all for ones. What am I saying? He can just absorb it. But he doesn't know what the cocktail he was getting was. At least as far as we're aware. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm just going back to last week where I could have sworn they mentioned quirk copying before and you said... That this was the first time that we're hearing of it? That I'm remembering it, that, yes. from uh, The only thing I ever remembered them talking about was um, all for one, absorbing other quirks and then putting them somewhere else. As far as I can remember, there was never anything about duplication. There was. When? According to a commenter, um, Curly Brace... Do you remember Class 1B? I mean, I remember them, but what specifically? N Naito Minoma, he, his quirk, can copy other quirks. Yes, but, like, he didn't have it permanently, and as far as I'm aware, that doesn't mean they'd be able to, like, suck it out of him and keep it. But maybe that's what I was thinking of, and because... He could temporarily steal people's quirks. So, I mean, not steal them. He could, like, copy them. So, quirk well, copying was kind of brought yes, up Yes, not, not in the format that we were discussing, right? Like, by that definition, we were also talking about Toga and her ability, which is similar. But also not the same and not what we were thinking of. Why didn't we bring up Naito then? Probably because we didn't think about him, and he was just such a minor character at the time, it didn't stick out. So... Plus, he's temporary. Like, it dissipates. It goes away. As I don't know what Toga's abilities would mean, as far as, like, how long she can hold that, that transformation. Mm -hmm. I know it, it, it depends heavily on, like, the amount of blood she has, but I don't know what, like... I, I don't know the ratio of, like, you know milliliter of blood to like minute of transformation and on top of that if she would you know uh if she drops the transformation does whatever would have been siphoned out of her disappear so can i, I assume can, can i get at least 10 percent points i don't think so considering the fact that like none of this would apply to what we were talking about it would have gotten discredited both way, like either way. If it w if it was something that could have worked with the argument, I would give you plenty of points. It doesn't work with the argument. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
like uh, unless there's some other brand new quirk we're unaware of or it's just the doctor science that's able to duplicate them at this point who knows okay but i i think i'm just saying that quirk duplication through naito was brought up before and we i was just completely forgetting about naito mm -hmm. i mean that's fair Again, my only argument here is that it has nothing to do with what we were talking about. Like, it would not apply at all. Because, mm. again, it'd be temporary, and it would disappear as soon as the person, like, times out, essentially. Yeah, and did he need to, like, touch the person or something to get their quirk? I believe so. I believe he had to physically touch them. So, if he would chop off their hair, could he, like, make a utility belt of hair that is it's like okay um gravity um fire and wind maybe he might be able to i don't know if he needs to touch like a living thing and as such like hair separated from the main body would not work maybe i don't know mm. i don't know what that limitation would be okay interesting but, yeah, so I disagree with the fact that, like, it wouldn't work for the purposes that we were trying to talk about. Ah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Even if we, like, I don't remember if Twice could, no, Twice couldn't even do it. We've never seen him duplicate a physical object, like a non-living person, for example. And on top of that, right... He says he needs to know, like, almost everything about, like, physically at least, the person to duplicate them perfectly. Mm. Or they kind of get fucked up in the duplication process. Okay, so he... So he, even he, I don't think, would be able to do that. Okay, so he couldn't... He could We've never seen the him, objects? We've never seen him do it that I can remember. Ah, okay. It's always been people. Like, I mean, if you want to count the clothing, technically, yes, but, like... He's never done just a chair or something. Ah, uh, okay. Again, not that I can recall. So he couldn't copy a sandwich and be like, Hey, Seuss, sa sandwich. I mean, even if he did, right? They're kind of just eating whatever the mud it turns back into is. Oh, that's, that's right. And wasn't that pizza that Seuss had? Yep. It was pizza. Okay. I got my reference wrong. So, we have just a little bit of a extended flashback in the beginning about HQ talking about the Nomus. Gotta fill in that runtime, I guess. Because yep. it feels very unnecessary. And did Shikugaki have any comment at the tail end of last week's? I don't remember him saying anything off the top of my head. What I did notice was that Exless, or, or whatever his name is, actually destroyed that machine we were talking about, mm -hmm. like with his laser. And as such, he didn't notice the liquid coming close and hitting the uh, live wire. So if he wouldn't have destroyed that machine, Shiggy would have still been knocked out? If he was paying enough attention to, like, the liquid and the electrical wire, he probably would have pulled him away. Instead, he got distracted by the machine and getting rid of it. And it wasn't even, like, the wires from that machine that did it. It was just, like, the spreading of the liquid from the, like, test tube, essentially, that Shigaraki was in that caught the electrical wire. Had he been paying more attention, he wouldn't... He might have been able to pull the body out of there or, like you know, move the cable out of the way or something instead. And Shigaraki is cold. He's very cold because he was in suspended animation, which I assume means that his blood flow was not happening. Hell, they stopped his heart. That's right. They checked his pulse. He didn't yeah. have one. So, like, his entire circulatory system wasn't running, and thus he was not... He's waking up from being a corpse, essentially. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes sense. He, I would be cold, too. If my entire body had been shut down. Yeah. Although now we get to see where he gets the cloak from. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of mad I didn't put two and two together. Did you get Akira vibes from that? I think you forget that I've never watched Akira. 
Oh, yeah. I remember Akira having a red cloak, but I haven't seen enough of it to really, like, make a connection. And if you would have seen it, you would have known that was Tetsuo. You know, Tetsuo, Akira, they're kind of just the same thing in my brain at this point. We should watch Akira down the line for Brandon's Discuss Anime. You've been holding off because of somebody else for that. Uh, I know. Who really wants to do it, but we've heard nothing from them in a while. Yeah, so maybe I'll give one last contact and then be like, okay, let's do it ourselves. Might be the only way it's going to happen. Yep. Uh, okay, so Crest is holding off a Nomu, and even with his quick remove, it's still pretty strong. Yeah, it's still pretty tough. A lot of a lot of thick muscles to, you know, cut your way through when all you've got is a shield. Yeah, but like there must be more to Nomu than just quirks. There must be like some raw power behind it too. Oh, I'm sure that their like physical body actually if I remember right, their physical bodies were altered in order to handle all the quirks. They have to be thicker and stronger and denser. Mm-hmm. And so, then, you know, you can, you can chalk that up to the doctor's engineering so they can handle all the different quirks they have. And then we have Woman vs. Endeavor. Yep, that's going well. And Mirko wants to kick it. Yeah, of course. Come on, I'll, let me give it a kick. I can do it. I'm still a badass. Uh, I, there's blood running down my face and I want to kick it. That, why isn't that her catchphrase? Let's kick it. <laughs> I, I thought you meant this blood rain down my face. <laughs> no, let's kick it. That should be the that should be the catchphrase she has. It would fit her so well too, in a lot of ways. And woman seems to have some kind of acid quirk from her legs. Was it acid or was it glue? Like it was sticky. I thought in, in the previous year, uh, episode I th- she used it. I thought. I could be wrong, but I thought it was like half dissolving too. Maybe I'm not sure. I thought I thought it got someone stuck for a second before she managed to hit him, like Mirko. I thought. Hmm. Uh, and we cut back to Shigaraki and Exless, and uh, Exless dies. Shigaraki was cold, and he wanted a he wanted something to warm him up, and Exless wasn't going to give him that cloak willingly. Yeah. And it seems that Shigaraki can kind of control his power now when he picks up the cloak. So, yeah, it's... Actually, hold on. When he picks it up, is he picking it up with the hand that's got, like, the weird thing on it? Like, the weird glove thing? Or did he realize he has control over it at the end when he picks up the phone? It's at the end that he realizes he has full control. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, but I'm trying to check now if he, like, picked it up. Keep going, keep going. Uh, Here we go. Did he pick up the cloak with the regular hand or the one that had... Nope, he picked it up with the regular hand. Oh! So it's not the one that's missing the fingers or has them covered. So yeah, he picked it up and it didn't dissolve. Maybe he didn't realize it at that point. Yeah, he's using that. That's why I thought he's using the other hand that has like the two fingers. I forget if he lost his fingers or not, but he's using um the hand without all of his fingers to like hold it together. That's why I thought he had picked it up with that hand. Um, But no, he picked it up with the full hand. And yeah, he didn't destroy the cloak, but he did fucking decay Exless. Hmm. I think my next question comes in now, like, now that he has his full control over it, right, can he just do it from, does he still need the five fingers then? Or the four fingers and the thumb? That's my next question. Is that, is that still in play as a, uh, uh, a guaranteed way of just stopping him from using it? I thought... Cut off his other fingers. I just thought his quirk needed... Five points of contact. He does. He says that in here in a flashback, but I don't know if that's still the case after this whole awakening business. Oh, because he awakened his quirk, now he can just, like, 
tap you with one finger and you'll dissolve. Well, he says he can do it at will now, so I don't know what, if anything, matters anymore as to what holds him back from using it. Could he just poke you with a toe? If he headbutts you, is that going to start decaying your head? I will say that that might be a little bit too overpowered. I know, but he's also like, you. he's literally awoken this quirk. I don't know what that means. That, I'm trying to understand that. And yes, it would be overpowered, but that would also mean, you know, like we, we also see like his range in this is like an entire city width at minimum. Yeah. That doesn't seem overpowered to you? Not to mention the fact that it's hopping from thing to thing. Like he doesn't have to just touch anything at all. He just spreads like a freaking disease. Or like I'm the vines of a plant, actually, would probably be the better way to describe I'm it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just saying it seems overpowered already, and that's not taking into account whatever fully awakening the damn thing means. Yeah, um, well, we cut back to three minutes earlier, and Tsukiyomi and see some blue fire coming out the window. And... Can I just say I get points here? For what? Calling that Hawks wasn't dead. Yes. Okay. Points for you. We. Um, and we find out that in the continuation of the brief thing that happened last time, he goes after Hawks. He does go after him, which kind of surprises me that he knew Hawks was on the second floor. I'm curious how he found out about that. Ah. Uh... Floor, I should say. Can I get partial points because I thought he knew Hawks was there? You can get partial points, but I don't know how he knows that. Partial points! Um, and... Like, was it something he was briefed about? Because if that's the case, it wasn't very clear that he would know it and nobody else could put that together. Maybe... I mean, I get that, you know, he idolizes Hawks, but at the same time... Maybe he has some sort of, like mentor sidekick in training Link? Yeah, but Hawks didn't really want to get close to him, if you recall. I, I don't know. He kind of left it to his agency to train Suki, and not himself. They talked a couple of times, but that was about it, from what we know. And Tsukiyomi is the first person to break through Fat Gums Fat. Yeah, you're not getting a free ride on the fat taxi. You need to pay up for that. And he shoots out a uh, charge bolt mushroom girl. Um, what's it? She mage and mudman and runs after Tsukiyomi. Yep, and then he gets a face full of ass. <laughs> Giant bottom! Yep. Uh, so Mountain Girl gets thrown back from the ice dude from last season. Uh, Geller, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, or Jeller. I'm not. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. Um, either way. Um, uh, Jet, oh, yeah, mountains. Of... I have it as Gethin. Gethin. Okay. I thought it was an L. Oh well. No big deal. Um. Yeah. Uh, Ice throws back Mount Lady. Also gives an opening for uh, Tokiomi to grab Hawks and get away from Dobby without uh having to like deal with the fire. So Hawks, at this point, unless he dies on the way, is alive. Okay. And potentially rescued from death. And Whether or not he can still be a hero, though, that's up in the air. Yeah. Because and... uh, we don't know how bad those burns killed his wings. And when when all this was going on, Davi was m mocking him like, Hey, Hawks is a killer. Twice just wanted to help his friends. Why are you still idolizing a killer? This guy's shadier than me. And and I'm a, a window shade. Crap, I can't think of a good wordplay pawn right now, damn it! Thank God for not subjecting me to that. Uh, okay, so... Gigantomachia says, I smell master. He's awake. I mean, I guess he wouldn't have been able to smell him before, because he was literally encased in liquid. And then a glass and metal tube on top of that. Yeah. Although, goddamn, 
I am impressed at his sense of smell, considering I'm very unsure of how that smell carried that far, that quickly. So, I have it down in my notes that if it wasn't for Gettin's huge ice wall, iceberg thing, that Tukiomi and Hawks would have been fried. Because from the angle I saw it at, it looked like his ice knocked down Dobby and made him, like, offshoot his attack. It does seem like that, yes. Um, I don't know if it would have taken them out. Because at first, Hawks is still, like, somewhat conscious at this point, And is, like, the last two shots or so were, uh, weren't as uh, hot. So he's, like, he needs a cooldown period before he can, like, get everything as superheated as before. But then at the same time, Dobby later says, oh, I did that on purpose, blah, blah, blah. I was holding back. To make you do this. And it's like, is that is that true? Or is that just his way of bluffing it? Yeah. It's hard to say. Because I, I could honestly see it either way. And since, you know, it gets interrupted, the attack that would have been the way it should have been, who knows? Maybe it's not. We can't really tell. It's Schrodinger's Dobby. And I think Dark Shadow should say Aura Aura more. I mean, he is a stand. And <laughs> speaking speaking of stand users, or at least, you know, the JoJo in general, the whole, oh, I planned that and I did this instead. I think Dobby was pulling a Joseph. A part two Joseph. Next thing you'll say is you'll never get away yeah, with it, right, Dobby. Right. That'll be the next thing. The next thing will have that reference of just somebody calling it out. Oh, you'll never get away with this, Dobby. <gasps> Damn it! Wait, what? How did you? Next thing you're going to say, how did you know what I was going to say? How did you know what I was going to say? Wait, what? what? Hold on, what? Oh, I read the script. Breaks the fourth wall. Just pulls the script from behind. Reaches behind, like, the camera and pulls the script out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And next you'll say... <laughs> Just pulls a full-on, like, something from The Mask or Freakazoid. Yes. That would be the best power. Just fourth wall break. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, the heroes are telling people to leave the city. And Buck... yeah, we're cutting to the uh, uh, the evacuation teams. Mm -hmm. And Bakugo is still Bakugo, even to old women with choco buns. Who's offering him free choco buns, and he's <laughs> still screaming at them. Was Bakugo ever kind, or what... did he always have an explosive personality? I hate your pun. <laughs> No, no, but was he always, like, n not forcing... I hate it as much as Bakugo hates that chocolate bun. No, but like, not forcing the line again, but honestly, he has, like, an explosive, violent outburst personality, but was there ever a point when he wasn't, like, furiously angry? Maybe in some of the flashbacks, before, like, right before or just after he got his quirk like it developed and like when he was talking to the the guys that were idolizing him maybe and did you see any of the movies nope okay because maybe he would like be a little less i feel like he that'd be too much of a breaking character at this point mm. because even vegeta has a softer side to him. Yes, but Vegeta's also an adult. Fair enough. Also has an entire family to think about. Does Bakugo have a crush on anybody? I doesn't seem like it. Mm, mm. And we have like lots of shots of evacuation, random heroes, including um that floating Hero with the purple hair. I, I think uh, Nejire? Yeah, and she's like... She's a... up there with like a guy that has an airplane for a head. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Just as soon as it passes. Did we get a name for him? No. No, we didn't get a name for him. And she's like a third year, right? Yep. Okay, okay. 
Ah. Uh, I will you... say there is something I noticed, yes. and I don't know if this was a mistake or if this was just a time saver, but uh, uh, Burnin, the girl that's got like the uh, green fire hair. Oh, yeah, her. It was very static in a lot of the shots here. It was not moving and flowing the way I think it's supposed to, from what I recall. Mm. So I think either it was something that was forgotten or it was cut to save time. That would be my guess anyway. Yeah. Because that hair should be sure. should be flowing, from what I remember. Yeah. And Deku hears the first one for all calling yep. him. It's coming. Something's coming. And then Shigaraki uses Super Decay. I, ultimate Decay? Ultra Decay? I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff falling apart. So much decay. Things decaying into other things, into other things. Gran Torino luckily was fast enough to grab our good buddy, Present Mike. Yeah. Who still holds on to the doctor and get him out of the way before he gets decayed. Yeah. And Everyone's all... like, get the fuck out. Anyone on a flying hero, go. And any flying heroes, damn it, help those who can't. Yep. Well, they're all trying to get away as the decay is just spreading around them throughout that underground part of the hospital. And the doctor is just laughing, saying like, we won, we won. Oh, that's not yet. That's not until they get outside the hospital. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, Aizawa, Eraserhead, throws his scarf to grab onto the talon of uh, the dragon hero. Uh, Ryukyu, I think her name is? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's still, like, a half a Nomu that's still alive and grabs onto his leg, and the Decay is spreading up the Nomu to go after Aizawa's leg. And the next thing you know, we see a shield fly through. Looks like Crust managed to uh, sever the Nomu's arm. At the but... expense of his own life. Here's what I'm... I think that's the intended idea, but unfortunately we can't know for sure. It might have also been like, he's already been hit. And at the very least, he can save someone else before he goes. Ah. Like I said, there's not a fair enough shot to give us... A certainty of this it could be either one mm -hmm. he could have already accidentally stepped on one of the cracks and uses his last chance to save aizawa or it could very well have been the same as what seems to be initially implied which uh -huh. is in order to save him he sacrifices himself yeah yeah but we're not we can't there's no way to know for sure it could be either or either way it's a heroic deed and our our good buddy Crust here has uh, bit the dust. And then we have some cat girl hero. Oh, that... you don't remember them from like season two or three? No. Yeah, they were the ones that were training them when Bakugo gets taken. Oh. Yeah, they were doing the whole training thing. They were part of the training camp. What's cat girl's power? Uh, the blue one. Uh. Actually, speaking of them, you forgot, we forgot about the green one, which is one I'm super curious about, and I have a feeling uh, that quirk has been implanted into Shigaraki. I forgot about the cat girl team. Let me double check what hers is, but I think I know. Because, like, she's, like, I think she, like, severs the ground or something like that. She has the ability to move the earth, right? Okay. She was creating, like, earth creatures. All right, let's see here. Uh, so Ragdoll is the one whose quirk they ended up going after. Um, let me see. What was her initial quirk? Uh, da, 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 da. Open image a new tab. That'll work. Okay, this was her when she was still an active hero before she lost her quirk. Her quirk was called Search. It was used to uncover the locations of hidden disaster victims and teammates. Search quirk. Allowed her to observe and monitor up to 100 people at a time, including their location and weak points. Wild the quirk wild also stored da the data it gathered in the person's memory. Wild, wild pussycats. 
Yep. I do not remember. Why is there a large buff man? That's part of the joke. I do not remember them. Uh, yeah, no, they were in there. They were a pretty big one, actually. Um, yeah, her ability is to, like, target and monitor people. And I'm really curious what the fuck that's getting used for. I'm assuming Shigaraki has it right now, because it was a pretty big point that they stole her quirk. Hmm. What was your quirk? Pixie Bob was the blue one. Okay. Uh, her quirk is called Earth Beast. She creates a variety of Norma's beast slash golem like creatures out of the ground since they are not natural animals. Uh, quirks that affect animals exclusively, such as like Anavoice, have no effect on them. So yeah, they're full. They're fully like constructs made of earth. Mm. So she was trying to probably do that, and the decay just kept destroying it before it could really like form anything. Uh, according to she's a blue one with blonde hair, right? Yes. Uh, the Boku no Hero wiki says Earth Flow. Oh, I'm I was reading her ultimate move. I bet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, freely manipulates the Earth for a variety of effects. Okay, yeah. She just is a fucking Earthbender. Ah. We'll just go with that. She's an Earthbender. Mm, mm, okay, okay. And that did not stop the decay. Nope, probably tried to form a wall, and that just kept getting destroyed. And now the doctor's laughing, saying, like, we've won, we've won. So, I don't know if it was the translation I looked at, but it's like, we've. his first thing was, we've lost. Oh. Right? And I'm like, why is he saying we? Why is he including himself in this? But then he goes on the whole monologue of like, you heroes have been preparing this for so long, and now that he's awake, all your preparations are useless. It's all over for you. <laughs> so I think there was a mistranslation where he mm. included himself in that sentence. Mm -mm. So Deku decides to stop it with a St. Louis smash, Air Force 45%. And, yeah, doing well. That's new. I don't think he's hit forty-five percent with full cowling before, so I think that's a new number for him. And that doesn't work. Shocker! Yeah. Why would that work? I, I get the attempt to try between you know the first one for all and um, the fact that like shit's coming at them, mm -hmm. like makes some sense. Maybe he's trying to stop the debris. It wasn't 100% clear to me. Yeah, or he was trying to, like, push it back. I don't know how you would push back the decay with wind pressure. That's what I'm not understanding. If he knew what it was, and it wasn't just trying to get away, like, the debris that was being hurled at them from it, Yeah. I don't know what he thought that would do. I mean, then we have, uh, I'm blanking on his name. Fucking hot, hot, cold boy. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that hurts. I can't remember him. Puts up an ice wall, only to see that much like uh, Pixie Bob's earth wall start crumbling. Yeah. Pretty quick. Yeah, no, it's, uh, nothing's stopping this today. You, everyone starts grabbing vehicles and people and just tending, taking them off as fast as they can. Shoto. Shoto, that's his name. Uravity, uh, you're you're the queen here, Uravity. Just start like making things weightless. That's your best bet right now. Is there a maximum to things she can float? I think there is, but it's a matter of like her endurance to handle it. I think. Uh. I think that's the drawback. I know after a like after a certain amount, she starts getting like sick from it. Or at least that was the original drawback. I don't know what her limit is now. Uh, power to nullify the effects of gravity on solid targets. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that. I hadn't even considered that. Like, she's never done it on, like, water and shit. I'd never considered that. But, yeah, that makes sense. How would that work? Uh, so, would the, uh, the, the amount of objects or the total weight of the objects? Here we go. Uh, the main drawback of Ochiko's quirk is that if the upper weight limit, oh, wait which is that. apparently around three tons, is exceeded, or if Ochiko floats herself, she will suffer from severe nausea. 
Oh. Okay. So, yeah. As part of her training, Achiko considerably reduced resultant nausea and increased her weight limit, as well as developed her ability to float herself for short periods of time without becoming nauseous. Okay, so I don't know what her current max is, but initially it was like three tons, apparently. Mm -mm. And since he was floating several cars, yeah, she's probably at like 20 tons, maybe. I mean, like, it's, a car does not weigh like 2,000 pounds. Think it would be like half of a pound, a uh, half a, ta a ton. Okay, I would so, say. so maybe the bus is probably a ton with all the people on it. Like that one, I would not shock me if that hit a ton or more. Mm -hmm. Just the regular cars, probably not. Yeah. Like I would stick that at around a thousand. Yeah. I'd... But either way, yes, I I'd still think it's more than three thousand or three tons. Yeah, so, um, as mentioned earlier, Shigaraki realizes he has control over the decay. Yep, he, he stops doing the decay, suddenly realizes he has control over it, because apparently he just destroyed everything except for, like, the little platform he was on. Everything else around it started decaying. Mm-hmm. Went to go and pop open one of those, uh, one of the, one of the machines... I don't know if this is the one Exilus destroyed or not, but apparently he was making duplicates of those bullets that um, Overhaul was using, or had uh, had created. Mm -hmm. The quick destroying bullet? Mm -hmm. Well, temporarily, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently uh, the Doctor was making duplicates of those, and uh, he says most of them were destroyed. I don't know for sure what that means, right? Yeah. Like, were there some salvageable in there? Because as far as I saw, he didn't grab them. He picked up one that was broken. So I don't know if he's still restricted to, like, the four or five that he has. Or if there was a couple more in there he was able to snag that were not shattered. Mm, so it seems that next time will be Endeavor versus Shigaraki. Oh, you forget. He tells Makia to get going. And Makia just screams. Yep. Or, like, roars. Yep. Shit's, uh, shit's about to get real on the other side now, too. Like, even more so. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be a very intense season, I guess. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, like... I think the roller coaster is all, like... Down, like, uphill? Like, uphill struggle for, the, for everybody? It seems like it. Like, right now, given what Shigaraki's got and what Deku has, I don't see a way for Deku to win. Unless he unlocks more quirks from other users? He would have to, probably. We don't know. We only know what, like, one of them are. Black Whip, right? Well, we know what Black Whip is. I meant ones that we didn't uh, were weren't aware of. Ah, oh, and... well, the only one we know that he has like a float ability from um... Nana. Yep. Other than that, I don't know what anyone else has. Yeah, so he's bound to unlock them, and that could save himself from Shigaraki or temporarily stop Shigaraki? Well, I mean, the float thing will definitely keep him from, like, touching other shit that Decay would force him to, like, have to leave behind, essentially. Yeah. And combining float with just his ability to create the air pressure off the air, he essentially can fly. Mm. Right. Like, before we would see All Might, and he would just, like, he wouldn't fly so much as he would like, with the force of his kick, just air pressure himself up further or through through big jumps. Combining that ability of just, like, that raw power kind of push with float, yeah, he, he's essentially being able to fly, I would think. Um, and superhero lore here, from what I understand, early Superman could not fly, but... He could more, like, super jump, like All Might does. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm curious, like, he could also combine that with Black Whip to just 
fling himself around at crazy angles if he gets good enough with it. Like Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're... Yeah, Spider-Man, but let's add some thrusters every time he's web swimming, swinging. Well, next week's gonna be intense. Yeah, shit's getting real. Um, I'm curious what... So, no, no there's one more thing I yes. wanted to bring up. I completely forgot about it because of the bullet thing sidetracked me. So we hear, it, like, Shigaraki, after he goes over to take a look at the bullet, suddenly starts having, like, a headache or something. Like, he grabs his head. And you hear, I twice and i'm 99 percent sure that's all for one yes that's so what... my initial theory of he might force himself into shigaraki's body might still be there through a vestige or through his uh, actual spirit hard to say it, it, we don't know the quirks that he had access to, so who the fuck knows? Mm. It would be interesting, right? Especially just to show off the differences between, and parallels, I guess, but between the two quirks of, like, all for one and one for all. In, like, all for one, the actual original Lord of Evil slash villain slash what have you consumes his prior you know his prior apprentice and essentially becomes him hmm. whereas in one for all you have him like working together with the prior you know inheritors that would be very interesting it would be a great story dynamic to show those differences between the two and how it works and I feel like that hint of just all for one's voice being there just kind of like makes me feel more and more like that's the case. That's just adding to the column of, yup, this might be a thing. Especially it, even more so if he has an idea of how um, the original quirk works. You know, um, one for all's original quirk worked. If he knew that and he tried to like replicate it in some way, right? So passing off his original quirk allows him to, whatever, for whatever reason, be able to overtake Shigaraki from the inside, perhaps. You know, trying to emulate that kind of passing on. But I guess we'll figure that out down the line. Oh, probably. Yep. Maybe not next time, but you should come back next time. In seven seasons! <laughs> <laughs> but you should come back next time. And watch. See you in episode 1000. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think we'll get that far because... I don't know, man. You're telling me this ain't going to be a One Piece? The guys in the final story... I don't want to say, like, uh, saga. The final story saga. You're forgetting filler. I don't think Boko ever had filler except for the movies. I think... You're forgetting filler, because they want to milk this shit, man. Oh, wait, yes, they did have filler at the beginning of season four and five, like that single episode. Mm-hmm. So, yes, you're right. This does have filler. I'm sorry. You get the point. <gasps> hey, I wasn't looking for points, but I'll take them. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye.